Ian death toll rise to more than 77. South Carolina, the death toll from Hurricane Ian rose Saturday to more than 77, as one of strongest and coldest storm to ever hit the U.S. push northward from the Carolinas, leaving in its wake a trade effect misery, dangerous flooding, power outage and massive destruction. Ian, which slammed into Florida on Wednesday with 150 mph wind, was downgraded to a post-tropical cyclones after marching across South Carolina and was expected to weaken even more as it moved later Saturday to south-central Virginia before rolling into mid-Atlantic. The storm was still whittling maximum sustained wind of 35 mph, according to the National Hurricane Center. But the NHC also warned of potential flash flooding both in urban and rural areas across central Appalachian and the southern Miss Atlantic region through the weekend, as well as continue record the river flooding across part of Florida. The 77 confirmed storm related deaths were recorded in Florida and North Carolina, according to a tally by state officials and an NBC News count. And with rescue effort ongoing and the flood water proceeding in places littering with wrecked home, local officials warned the death toll could still rise. At least 1,100 rescue have been made in Florida since Ian made landfall in the state. In Florida, nearly 1.3 million homes and businesses were still without power early Saturday. Three days after Ian hit the state, the lack of power and water is why me field 16 and her family had to leave their Cape Coral home, where they roared out the storm for Sarastoza. The teen said they all need a place where they could recharge and freshen up until electricity is restored in the coastal city. As now, she doesn't know when they will return home. Ian was field first hurricane. Her family evacuated Erring Irma in 2017, but decided to stay this time because they didn't think Ian would hit them. They also didn't expect Ian Factor City, she said in a phone call Saturday. In South Carolina, Ian's eye came ashore near Jir Town, a small community along the Withnow Bay, about 60 miles north of historical Charleston. The storm washed away parts of Fort Pier along the coast, including two that linked to the popular tourist town of Myrtle Beach. More than 62,000 customers did not have power. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.